Let's investigate a vector v. It can be written in vector components. We can break it up into v sub x in the i direction and v sub y in the j direction. A vector of length 1 is called a unit vector. i with an arrow over it representing the unit vector in the x direction and j with an arrow over it representing the unit vector in the y direction. The unit vector i is multiplied by the scalar v sub x to indicate the x component of the vector and unit vector j is multiplied by the scalar v sub y to indicate the y component of the vector. So vector v can be written as vector components. Let's give vector v a value of 1 newton and an angle from the x-axis of 36.87 degrees. We can look at its components using trigonometry. v sub x is equal to v cosine theta which is 1 cosine 36.87 degrees. That equals 0.8 newtons. In component form, we can say a 1 newton vector has a vector component equal to 0.8 times the unit vector i. We can use the same process to find v sub y, which is 0.6 newtons. Our vector v can now be expressed as 0.8 times unit vector i plus 0.6 times unit vector j. With the vector components calculated, we can express the vector direction and magnitude in vector notation. You can also find the angle and magnitude when given vector components. Here, vector v equals 25i plus 17j pounds. This means the component in the direction of unit vector i, the x-axis, is 25 pounds and the one in the direction of unit vector j on the y-axis is 17 pounds. The magnitude of v is 30.2 pounds acting at an angle of 30.23 degrees from the x-axis. For more details on the use of the Pythagorean theorem and trigonometry to solve this vector, refer to the 2D scalar component video.